Let's begin the video with a few warm-up questions. Question 1. Which of the following sentences is an example of direct speech? She said that she was tired. She said, I am tired. She told me she was tired. She was tired, she said. Question 2. Which of these sentences is an example of indirect speech? He said, I am coming home. He said he was coming home. I am coming home, he said. He says, I am coming home. Think you know the answers? If you got them right, congratulations. If not, don't worry, we'll be diving into this topic in today's video. Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering English grammar. In today's video, we're exploring direct and indirect speech. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what direct and indirect speech are, where they're used, why they're used, and how to identify them in sentences and conversations. Plus, we have some fun quizzes to test your knowledge. Let's get started. What is direct speech? Direct speech, also known as quoted speech, involves quoting the exact words spoken by someone. It is enclosed in quotation marks. Example, John said, I am going to the store. What is indirect speech? Indirect speech, also known as reported speech, involves paraphrasing what someone has said without quoting them directly. It does not use quotation marks and often requires changes to pronouns, verb tenses, and other words. Example, John said that he was going to the store. Why are direct and indirect speech used? Direct and indirect speech are used to report what someone has said, convey information accurately, avoid repetition in storytelling or dialogue, provide clarity and context in communication. Where are direct and indirect speech used? Direct and indirect speech are used in various contexts, in everyday conversations to share what others have said, in written narratives to convey dialogue and thoughts, in news reporting to attribute statements to sources, in academic writing to reference others' ideas. How are direct and indirect speech used? Direct speech usage, enclosed in quotation marks. The exact words spoken are used. Attributed to the speaker with a comma or a colon before the quote. Example, Ava said, I will finish my homework. Indirect speech usage, no quotation marks. Changes to pronouns, verb tenses, and time expressions often introduced by the word that. Example, Ava said that she would finish her homework. Direct and indirect speech in sentences. Direct speech. He said, I am going to the gym. She asked, do you like pizza? Indirect speech. He said that he was going to the gym. She asked if I liked pizza. Example of a conversation. I bought a new car. Really? What kind of car is it? It's a red sports car. Indirect speech. John told Ava that he had bought a new car. Ava asked what kind of car it was. John replied that it was a red sports car. Quiz time. Now, let's test your knowledge with some quizzes. Ready? Question one. Which of the following uses indirect speech? I will call you later, he said. He said, I will call you later. He said that he would call me later. He said, I would call you later. Answer. He said that he would call me later. Question two. Identify the direct speech in this sentence. She told me that she was tired. I am tired, she said. She said she was tired. She said that she was tired. Answer. I am tired, she said. Question three. Convert this direct speech into indirect speech. They are playing outside, he said. He said that they were playing outside. He said, they are playing outside. He said they are playing outside. He said that they are playing outside. Answer. He said that they were playing outside. Question four, find the indirect speech. She said, I am happy. She says, I am happy. She said that she was happy. I am happy, she said. Answer. She said that she was happy. Question 5. Which sentence uses direct speech? He mentioned that he was tired. 
He said, I am tired. He told me he was tired. He said that he was tired. Answer. He said, I am tired. Awesome. How many did you get right? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today's video on direct and indirect speech. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more grammar tips, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Keep practicing, and you'll be a grammar pro in no time. Thanks for watching Explified, where our ideas are shared and your thoughts are cared. See you next time.